Bonjour YouTube, welcome to first video in a week. Today, Manchester United women up against Man City opening game of the Women's Super League. Manchester United's first game of the Super League in years. I think it's been like 10 years or something. And up against City at the Etihad, very difficult game. Man City who did claim both cups last season. Losing one game, I think, in the WSL last year to Arsenal, who would end up winning the league. So up against a much more experienced side. But going through the lineup, there is loads of new names. In goal, obviously Mary Earps. And then full, a new left back from Sweden, Luther Ockvist. Starting alongside new former Manchester City centre back, Abby McManus. Millie Turner. And then another new signing, Hayley Ladd, starting at right back. And just has a different position. Thought she'd play more winger for this team with Harris. But Harris was on the bench. He played right back for Man United last season. So not too sure how it will go. But it was a good opening game from United. In the midfield, Katie Zellum, the new captain after Greenwood left. Fully deserved for Katie to get it. She's been an incredible player since joining us from Juventus. Uh, Elitoon. Another former City player, alongside with McManus. Very, very good player. She can shoot from distance. Have, and she did. Had brilliant opportunities. And our new Dutch midfielder. World Cup, sem, World Cup uh, second place. She has a silver medal. European champion, Jackie Roinen. Playing in midfield. She was very good today. Made some amazing tackles. Had a brilliant through ball. Uh, and then up top, Leia Galton, Jess Sigsworth, and the new striker, but she can also play wide, Jane Ross. On the bench, we had our deadline day signing, uh, Mikkelsen, backup goalkeeper, along with Amy Turner, Martha Harris, Lauren James, Lizzie Arnett, Hansen, and Smith. Lauren James would come on. She showed what she can do last season she can shoot from distance uh, potentially she could start a couple games I don't think it will happen but she could but anyway uh, this attendance for this game was a record I don't know the exact number I think it was like 34,000 something like that it was a record attendance and for a WSL game and could even been a record attendance just in general for like a women's game well, I'm not too sure. The first half was very, very even. City probably had just the better chances. Jackie had a couple good opportunities. Um, Jess Sigsworth also had a few really good opportunities bursting through. That's the main thing that United can do. Get the ball from midfield. One pass through. Jackie did it on multiple occasions in that first half. Taking the ball from the halfway line. One ball. The feed in. Jess Sigsworth or Jane Ross. Unbelievable passer of the ball. Like, she's going to hopefully get a lot of assists. But, Lothar Ockvist came off on the 56th minute for Amy Turner. She played very well. Kept a clean sheet for the most part. Uh, did very, very well to just hold Manchester City, who were many up. Well, not really a lot of opportunities. It took quite a while for City to get into it. Man United had more opportunities. City's keeper made some amazing saves. But as the game went on, City got more into it. They held more possession. Could get into United's final third way too easy. We were able to string a couple passes together. Uh, far too easy for them, to be honest. And they did get the goal. And what a goal it was, it has to be said. Like, there's not, well, I won't say there's nothing they could do, because obviously the keeper can't wait to do something, but it was just one of those goals. Uh, the defence was eh, okay. I don't want to say it was amazing, because it wasn't, but the ball was just up in the air, knocked it forward, and then Veer, I think is the person, Veer, W-E-I-R, took it down, one touch, then takes another, and boom. Brilliant finish. Very, very good goal. Nothing Marios could do about it. Uh, but that's how it ended then. One goal in it. 1-0. Then 
the first ever Manchester women's derby, unfortunately, it goes to Manchester City. You take all three points in this massive game. But United, who also do have another massive game coming up, I believe it's against Arsenal is the next game. So yeah, it just gets even more difficult. It was a brilliant finish, as we said. Uh, defending could be better. That, that clearance could have been better, could have taken a touch. But there's too many players around there, probably not. Really good game. United have, can control possession, they show they can pass it around. Uh, Jackie can provide some amazing through balls. I thought she played fantastic. She had a brilliant burst around about the 70th minute where she got past about three or four City defenders with two touches. And it was just an amazing run into the box. Unfortunately, her shot just went just into the post. If it was even just a little less power on it, it may have gone in, but brilliant effort from Jackie there to bring it back level, which she just couldn't quite do. There were a couple of chances where you could have had a penalty shout for United, but New York's did pick up a knock as well, but I think she's going to be fine. We did sign a new backup goalkeeper on deadline day, but that's really a first review. Unfortunately, Manchester City take the win, but next week, Manchester United, again, I might be wrong, but I believe we place Arsenal, which is going to just be even more difficult. But anyway, leave a like, subscribe, and bye.